to show you how to make this super simple super cute flip flop wreath using flip flops and stars from the dollar tree and this little sign from walmart so stay tuned i will show you how to make it Alrighty, let us get started so first off you're going to need five pair of these patriotic flip flops i got these at dollar tree the left ones have the stars the right ones have stripes these are size 9 10. now you know you get whatever size that you want to get but, you know, of course, the bigger ones that you get, the bigger your wreath and the smaller ones equals a smaller wreath. Five pair of whatever size you want to use. I also have some of this foam table scatter from the Dollar Tree. And I have one of these awesome little signs. This was actually a yard stake. I got this at Walmart. It's a yard stake. And I laid this flat down and put pressure on it with my hand and just gently, gently popped this up, okay, to break it off of the back. So get over there. So just be careful with that. And then I have a bunch of these little scraggly things that was left over from a craft I was doing yesterday. <laughs> I don't know if I want to use those. I don't know. Y'all know how I am. I start out making one thing and then I end up adding stuff and adding stuff and adding stuff. Let's just lay that sign over there. Alrighty, so this is really simple, and I know that y'all have seen these all over Pinterest and everywhere else, but I'm going to make one too. For the glue, I'm going to be using a hot glue gun. I will link to my favorite one down below. See, it has this little precision tip on it, and it's interchangeable. Now, I'm using a high temp glue gun. This is going to be hung in my house, okay? It's not going to be outside exposed to the elements. If you're going to hang yours, like on your front door, if it's going to be exposed to rain or, you know, high temperatures, you need to go back. After you glue this together, reinforce it with some E6000, okay? Because you don't want it falling apart on your front door, and these flip-flops are rather heavy. So what I'm going to do to start off with on my first, uh, my first, what do you want to call this? Layer. That's what we're going to call it. We're going to call it a layer. I'm going to just kind of space these out. And I know that this is hard to see because these do take up a lot of space. Like I said, i got a lot of projects going on at any given time on my craft table. So I'm just going to space them out the best I can. And then I'm going to glue them together here on the heels. As you can see, there's not a big, huge contact point there. So, you know, once you get these glued together, if you want to, you can take a piece of cardboard or something like that, or foam board, Dollar Tree sells foam board, glue it to the back of it, you know, just to give this a little extra stability. We all need stability. So all I'm doing here, as you can see, I'm just putting a blob of glue right here. And you know what? While I'm gluing this, I'm going to ramble here for a second. If you're in my Facebook group, you know that there was a little bit of disarray <laughs> in there this morning. That's the nicest way that I can put it. A little bit of disarray. And I was in some sort of a foul mood when I was reading all of this silliness. Look, I'm gluing it to my table. It's all right. Once it's held together, I'll pop it back off. And I had declared that because of the bad mood I was in, I was not going to film today. But you know what? There are so many awesome people in my group. So many good eggs that outweigh the bad eggs. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to let this bother me. I'm not going to let it stop me from doing what I like to do. And that is making things and, and making my videos. So you know what? I'm here with a video. All right. So that's going to be our first layer. And now... Let's see what we have left over. We have three of the stars left over. And I want these to layer this way. There we go. Yes, you know what? I've got to move some of this stuff and I apologize for this. There we go, let's throw it in the darn floor. But with the leftover stars, we're gonna glue them like that. And then just kind of work these in. Just like this. Let's move these little doohickeys here. Yeah, that'll look okay. All right, so now I'm going to take them back off. 
And now we're just going to glue them like this. I'll put some here and put some here. As you can see, these do have a lot of, you know, like the shoe hanging out that way. And that puts pressure on the areas where you glue. So that is why I did suggest to kind of back it up with some E6000 if it's going to be outside. Now let's put this little darling right here. Let's get this other stuff out of the way. Yeah, I've not been at home very much at all this week. And I have not gotten to do a lot of stuff that I wanted to do, including cleaning off this table. But I've got some wreaths going on back here. So, we just have to deal with it for now. Alright, there we go. Let us get this red one, and then that will be almost done. I do use Gorilla Glue. That is my favorite brand, and it really does hold up very well in the heat and the cold. I'm very pleased with it. I've never really had a problem with it, but um, I know a lot of y'all live in places where the summers just get unbearably hot, and you don't want the glue to melt. So, like I said, back it up with some E6000. <laughs> Well, I apologize for the camera cutting off. Sometimes it does that. But anyway, what I was saying is I'm just going to kind of set this sign right here and not really glue anything down until I can, you know, take a good look-see. So I think what I want to do here is I'll just glue a few of these on here and there. I just kind of set these out. Just place them wherever. You know what? Do I want to do the red on the red and the blue on the blue? I don't know. I think that might be what I do. Yeah. Just glue them randomly around. <laughs> no rhyme or reason here. And then we'll just stick some of the blue ones up there. And then just scatter some of the white ones as well. Now, I do have a few more bags of these. So, I think I'm probably going to use two bags. I have another bag over here to the side, and I'm just going to set these out and see how they look. Okay, you can go right there, sir. Here we are. Okay, now I have another bag. I'm probably going to crack that one open and just put them wherever. Now, on this sign, I'm just going to put, and I know that this steak here is kind of taking up some space and it adds height. So I'm putting this hot glue on here and I know all of it is not going to come into contact with the sandals. But once I get it on there, I can go back and reinforce it. If I see it needs to be reinforced, I'm just going to hold it down for a few minutes. But anyway, I'm going to let this glue set up and I'm going to glue these little stars on and whatnot and then I'll come back and we'll see what I've got. All right, y'all, here we go. It is finished. All I did, like I said, I just went back and glued a bunch of those little stars on. Now, I'm going to hang it up, and to do that, I'm going to just take a pipe cleaner, fold it in half, and then glue it to the back. Twist the ends together to make a loop. And there you go. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you would, please, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye.